guys, we're going to highlight a victory here. We're going to highlight a victory, you know, and, and you've probably already seen this in the news. But uh, I think it's important that we highlight a victory uh, for this week. Eric Swalwell had a huge victory, you guys. Eric Swalwell uh, made a huge, huge victory in the race to self-awareness. In fact, he won. He beat out John Delaney, John Hickenlooper, Joe Biden, Beto O'Rourke. Uh, he beat out who else? The list is so Seth Moulton. Uh, and I'm trying to focus on all the candidates who just have no chance of winning and they have no reason being on the debate stage because they don't offer anything. Um, they're just centrist blank suits. Like Marianne Williamson, uh, she has no chance at being president, but that's not why she's there. She's there to highlight this perspective. And uh, Pasta from the Convo Couch has a theory that I think he might be right on. She's also kind of uh, planting the seed that she would make a great secretary of education. Uh, I, I think that's very possible. I think I, yeah. And that, that's his theory. Give credit where credit's due. That's pasta from the convo couch. That's who I heard that from first. Uh, Andrew Yang has some out of the box ideas. Some of them I agree with, some of them I strongly disagree with, but uh, nonetheless, he has a, he has a reason to be on that debate stage. He knows he's not going to, well, he might not realize he has no chance of being president actually, but I, 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 I think he knows he doesn't have a chance of being president. He just wants these ideas to be heard. And he wants to kind of steer the conversation in a certain way. And, uh, you know, and in regards to that first debate, I, I think I've said this already, even though I strongly disagree with Andrew Yang on a, a lot of stuff, um, agree with him on some other things, but strongly disagree on a lot of stuff. He should have had more speaking time. Um, I mean, it was ridiculous how, I mean, that they just did not give him any opportunities at all. Um, some of the opportunities he did have, I, I didn't think he made the most of, though. Like, hey, what are you going to do about climate change? I'm going to give people $1,000 a month. The question was about climate change. They can throw the money at the climate. They can throw dollar bills at the climate. And it'll. what we can do is we can make a big stitch of dollar bills and it'll block out the sun. <laughs> but anyway, uh, all right. So Swalwell, though, big victory. Eric Swalwell drops out of the presidential race, announces House re-election bid. Eric Swalwell. Run won that race to self-awareness. We have to be honest about our own candidacy's viability, Swalwell told reporters at a press conference. Today ends our presidential campaign, but it is the beginning of an opportunity in Congress with a new perspective shaped by the lives that have touched me in my campaign over the past few months. What is that code for, you ask? That is code for, uh, hey guys, I got the publicity I wanted. I know I have no chance but I got some good stage time. Uh, I got to say some stuff uh, and all right, we'll take it. That's what that's code for. Swalwell, way to have that self-awareness and drop out of the race. Uh, I wish other people would follow his lead in this regard. I wish more would drop out of the race. That's what I wish, um, but we're going to have to wait for that. So here's my question. And this is how we'll, uh, this is how we'll, uh, this is how we'll steer towards the end of the stream. Uh, who do you guys think is going to be next? Who's going to be next? Uh, I guess I'll go first. I feel like that's only fair. I should go first. Um, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be Hick and Looper. Wait, no, no, I take that back. Because Hick and Looper is not really doing all that much else. But he'll run out of money really quick. I feel like he's got to run out of money really quick. You know what? Yeah, I'll stick with it. I, uh, I, I, Hick and Looper. Hick and Looper. I think Hick and Looper. All right, let me see here. Who are you guys guessing? Tim Ryan. Oh, that's a good guess because Tim Ryan humiliated himself. Uh, Tim Ryan was humiliated in that debate by Tulsi Gabbard. Uh, Mayor Pete. Uh, yeah. I agree with Anthony here. Some of you guys are guessing Mayor Pete, but Anthony says Mayor Pete just got 25 million from Wall Street. He'll be around. Yeah, he's going to be around for a while. Uh, Susan guesses Biden. That's that's an interesting guess. Uh, O'Rourke will be gone soon. I think O'Rourke will be soon, but I don't think he's going to be next. I, I don't think O'Rourke's going to be next. Kamala, I think there's no way. Yeah, I don't think so. 
I don't think Kamala is going anytime soon. She's going to be around for a while. Um, Tom Myers asked the question a lot of people will uh, are asking, who is Swalwell? <laughs> um, Brian points out, Yang's UBI is a Trojan horse uh, to kill social safety net programs. I agree. Uh, I agree with that. So, um, but he has some other ideas that I do like, but that's not one of them. Uh, let's see. Delaney, Delaney's a, a good guess. I think Delaney, there's a, there's a, there's a good chance that Delaney is going to, uh, I, he might be next because he, he's another one. Like he's, he's going to run out of money quick. I mean, Hickenlooper and Delaney, they're the two least popular people. Um, and I feel like they're both going to run out of money pretty quick. And then once you run out of money, like, what do you, what do you do now? Neither of them have much else going on. So there's that, but, uh, yeah, I think Higginlooper or Delaney will probably be next. Buttigieg ain't running out of money anytime soon. Uh, Biden ain't running out of money anytime soon. Uh, someone said Gravel. I, I think Gravel is still going to stick with it. I mean, Gravel is there to make a statement. He's there to try to push everything further left. Uh, that's why Gravel's there. And Marianne Williamson, which, you know, again, someone else I do not agree with on everything. There's a lot I disagree with Marianne Williamson about. But uh, she gave a plug for Mike Ravel. So, you know, shout out to her for doing that. Um, and Moosegal gives uh, another shout out. Williamson would be good to help Americans care about mental health and a better food system, but doesn't seem presidential material. I agree. Uh, however, the host of Let the Madness Begin interviewed her. I'm not familiar with that show. Uh, Gravel is already out. Did he drop out? I hadn't heard about that. Did Gravel officially drop out? He just had... All right. I hadn't heard that. This is my first time hearing about that. I mean, he just got... He just got that bump from Marion Williamson. That's weird that he decided to drop out then, but... But, uh... Gravel Teen said they'll drop out before August. Well, I hope he, uh... I mean, I was hoping you could get on a debate stage before you. I mean, I know he plans on dropping out. Like, he's not, you know, he's not looking to actually be president. Um, yeah, I don't think he. Um, all right. I guess we'll see. Uh, well, here, let's, I'll Google it right now. So I think if he doesn't qualify for the debate he'll likely drop out but i think hmm. let me see here and xoxo says he didn't drop out he was asking for more unique donations yesterday to make it to the july debate um yeah yeah i think it's going to be one of those things if he doesn't make the july debate he'll likely drop out but i think he'll uh you know, I, I, I think he's still waiting to see. August says that he's 12,000 donors away from the debate stage. Deadline is a week from today. So there you go. I have a feeling he's going to try to make that deadline. So I think if in a week from today he doesn't make the deadline, he'll likely drop out. I mean, unless there's something that, you know, um, that I don't know about. Roger says Gravel needs to be included in the debates. I, I agree. I'd love to see that guy on the debate stage. He was awesome. And... Uh, he was awesome in 2008. I don't know if you guys saw in 2008, he crushed it. I, uh, yeah, I really loved him in 2008. <laughs> August says gravel hench for life. Oh yeah. Steyer. I will be hearing more from Steyer now, but, but we, we need another billionaire perspective. We need another billionaire perspective and none of us can remember everybody's names. It's pretty much impossible. together and 